you know, just, just like a week ago, IGN showed off the initial gameplay footage of Sonic Frontiers, and I was like, okay, okay, I could, I could see this potentially being fun, right? And I was like, feeling somewhat positive about this. I was like, this looks decent. They got, you know, a few more months of development. They can tighten up a few things here and make it work. And then at the end of this week, <laughs> they decided to come out with, oh my, this combat trailer for Sonic Frontiers. So if you don't know, this whole month, IGN is releasing all kinds of Sonic Frontiers stuff like trailers and information that kind of thing and like i said they released a gameplay trailer which showed off the world and you know i was i was somewhat cautiously optimistic about it. i was like okay this looks kind of cool sonic open world you can climb it up some stuff doesn't look too bad you know like it doesn't look perfect but like i said a few more months of development let's let's go right then they came out with the combat gameplay trailer and wow this I don't know, guys. I don't know. I Just truth be told, I wasn't even expecting to do another video on Sonic Frontiers. I was kind of be like, okay, I'm feeling decently positive about it. We'll see where we're at at the end of the month, and maybe I'll do like a recap or something. But, man, just like a few days, week later, watching this, I was like, oh, boy. So here's the thing. I see what they're going for with this combat trailer, okay? But... It looks janky. Uh, yeah. I You know, th let's just watch it. We'll talk about it as I watch it here. Let's hit play. And let's jump in. We got the beginning, of course, where the guy IGN from IGN is going to talk, so I'll let him do his look thing. At Sonic Frontiers gameplay. This time, focusing on combat. Sonic is up against an all-new set of baddies, some of which are among the most massive bosses we've ever seen in a Sonic game. Fortunately, Sonic's got some new tricks up his sleeve. Make sure to stick with IGN all throughout June because we've got a full hands-on preview and interviews from the developers in store. For now, though, enjoy the combat of Sonic Frontiers. Enjoy the combat. Okay, that's one way of putting it, I suppose. So here we go. This is where it began. You see Sonic running around. You're like, okay, this doesn't look too bad. Then the fighting begins. It's like... You see Sonic fighting the dude, the rings go flying off in a weird, janky way. And when Sonic jumps up to attack this thing, it just looks weird. And then uh, apparently he did some kind of like combo move there where he like jumps back. Like the way the camera jumps back just doesn't look right. It, it does not look dynamic. It looks super janky. Things just like kind of rush around. You see that? Like, I know that they're going for cool factor for kids. Like, they're like, oh, Sonic can punch a kick, and he does this big kick when he jumps back. But it looks weird. Like, it doesn't look right. Not only that, but, like, this, these enemies, these ball enemies, could they, could they have picked enemies that, like, are less... They, like, they have no character. Could they have picked less interesting en enemies? They're just, like, it's a cluster of balls that, like, have electricity or something. That's a cool little attack there. I think that's cool. So this is where I'm saying, like, I, I could see what they're going for. I could see, like, the camera angles, but they're not dynamic. Like, they should have the camera swooping around, following Sonic around, but it just kind of cuts, and it looks very janky and, and jaunty. See, I, I like the, the multiple punch thing. That's, that's kind of cool. He's got to do these different abilities here to, like, knock the... Uh, armor off of this enemy, but what is this enemy? Is it, it's just like, it's just like walking legs with a stem? What, what, what the heck is he attacking? What is that thing? It literally looks like, like, you know those, you know those like really janky games that come out from like, I, I don't even know, like those like cheap janky Steam games that come out, where they have enemies in it that just like look really weird, like look, look like someone spent like, a week in, in Blender and just didn't know what to make and that's what they came up with. Like, that's what this looks like. What, what is what is he fighting? The enemy design in this game so far is just awful. Just absolutely awful. One of his, his, his kick attack there looked pretty cool. Like, that's what the camera should be doing. It should be focusing on that and then the camera should do, like, this pan thing where it shows Sonic, like... Because the camera needs to readjust. Like, that is the difference between a AAA game 
in a janky game. It, it's camera movement. Camera movement and animation is 100% what sets the difference between those two. And here, the camera, when you're watching his attacks and stuff like that, doesn't do this like nice, seamless you know, motion to show what he's doing. It's very janky and jumps around. It's not good. It doesn't help that they're also showing the game without any kind of combat music. There's no UI. So, like, when you collect stuff, you're not seeing what's changing. Uh, does Sonic have a health bar? You're not seeing any of that stuff. I don't know why they chose to show the game off this way. It looks, it looks super, like, unfinished. You know, it looks like it's an alpha or something. But why would they show the game off like that? Again, enemy designs. What are these things? These, these look like gesture drawings in, like, amateur art class or something. Like... What are we looking at? I don't know, man. These enemies are not doing anything for me at all. And I'm usually, like... I'm sure people label me as more of a game apologist most of the time, you know? I try not to be too hard on games, but, like... We're talking about a Sonic game here. Like, I know Sonic hasn't been... Like, 3D games especially haven't been good for a long time. And very few and far between are good. But, like, this seemed really promising. But I don't know what I'm looking. I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like they wanted to go like a Forbidden West, you know, a Horizon Forbidden West type look to it, right? You know, with with the uh... okay. I was just looking at the jumping there. That looked really strange the way he was trying to jump on that enemy. Um, but it looks like they wanted to go with that kind of aesthetic, and then underneath they were just like, yeah, make it like a weird claymation figure or something, right? And this fight is, is kind of cool, but there's like, there's no weight to it, right? I like that the camera zooms out and you can see the thing trying to jump on you. I thought it was weird that they included that too. And then they just do like a camera cut. Or a, a scene cut, rather. They do a scene cut, like to where he's doing this thing. So you're kind of like boosting up into his feet to like, do damage. Which is kind of cool. It's got sort of a Shadow of the Colossus type feel to it, where you're fighting like a big ass boss, right? So, n nothing wrong with that. See, like, it does a, d a dy dynamic camera close-up into that, but, like, there's no weight to the attack. Like, it should feel like you're, like, boom! Like, you're really attacking it. More particles, you know? Uh, the best part about this is when the guy throws his uh, foot down and then you see the camera shake and everything. It feels like you're there. Does his little move there. See, the, the move that he does where he zooms in and does the, or does the kick or whatever, it's not bad. I like that they added that in. It's pretty cool. But they just really need to work on that camera uh, work, you know, the camera animation to follow Sonic around. That's what they need. Alright, so, yeah, there we go. We destroyed the thing. Okay, cool. Alright, and that's going to be the end of that one. So, there you go. Sonic Frontiers gameplay uh, combat trailer. Whatever you want to call it. We'll, we'll leave it with here with Sonic looking at us. But, man, guys, I got to say, I watched this trailer. I, I didn't watch it when it was first released, you know, a few days ago. Um, and I first watched it, like, earlier today. I was like, yeah, let's check out the combat can't be that bad right because the game doesn't look terrible but wow i i'm very very much questioning questioning like where this is going quite honestly like i thought that you know I, just just to reiterate again i thought the game looked pretty good when they first showed it off the exploration aspect of it but man enemy design is kind of kind of garbage honestly um the 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 fighting itself needs a lot of work um, I saw somebody post on, on the, um, the, you know, the, the trailer I was watching, uh, a comment in there. And the, the point that they made was they said, like, wow, Sega, like, really take, like, another year and really polish this because this could be really good. And I completely agree. Like, they should really take another year uh, and, and get this looking good because chances are this game has got to be because it's coming out this holiday. Is it November? They just say holiday, right? I assume it's going to be November. And... You know, if it comes out in November, that means it probably has to be gold by what, like August or September, which only is only giving them a few more months of development time, unless they're counting like day one patch, which they might be, you know, 
But man, I don't know, guys. This is not doing. Yeah, this combat's not doing anything for me. Like, you really are not feeling the weight of those punches or those kicks when they have the dynamic moves come back where they pop the camera out to watch Sonic, like, zoom in or, or do a cool kick at the enemy. They really got to do a thing where the camera, like, actually, like, pans, like, zoop, and then, like, pans you back into the action along with Sonic so you feel like you're a part of it. As, as, as it is, it feels like they have gotten it, like, 50% there, and they have to finish the other 50% of the way that the fighting is supposed to work, you know? You know, you ever watch, like, newer fighting games, you know, uh, like Guilty Gear or uh, Street Fighter, and when you do, like, an ultimate combo or or even Mortal Kombat when you do a fatality, you know, in, in Mortal Kombat 11, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not completely, like, taking the camera and just, like, cutting to close up of the anim uh, of the of your character you know they're, they're closing up and they're changing the dynamics of the camera to move around with what is happening in the fatality and that's what they need to do here so anyway yeah guys unfortunately i don't have much good to say about this i'm going to keep watching the sonic frontier stuff to see where it goes by the end of the month i'm really interested to see this but i mostly interested to see what the ui is going to look like I really want to check that out. Uh, I want to see what, you know, his health bar looks like. Is it, is it just rings or is he going to have a health bar? I feel like for this, he needs like a health bar. The ring should be like superfluous or something or, or used for currency or something. I, I I don't know. What do you guys think? But yeah, I, I don't know, man. I got, <laughs> I'm not so sure on this one. This is, uh, this is, I, w I was up here with the game and now I'm kind of like down here. Like, oh boy, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, I'll keep my eye on it, and uh, maybe you'll hear from me again on Sonic Frontiers. But as of right now, I'm back down to like, oh boy, oh boy. Anyway, see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.